While disapproving of women who smoked, men began to take up smoking in increasing numbers, partly because a flood of advertisements in what was America's newest mass medium, national magazines, made smoking attractive. These ads evoked the symbolic values many men already associated with cigarettes, sexual appeal, sophistication, pleasure. But they failed to persuade women to risk the disapproval of their menfolk by taking up cigarettes. Even George Washington Hill, the advertising genius who made Lucky Strikes America's best-selling cigarettes, couldn't figure out how to break through the social barriers that kept women from smoking. So he turned to a public relations genius, Edward Bernays. He said, we have a problem. We're losing half the market in America because there is a taboo against women, women smoking particularly smoking in the streets. He said, I want your help on that. So I said, before I can offer you a, a suggestion or a recommendation, I would like your authority to visit Dr. A. A. Brill, who was the leading psychoanalyst of his time. So I went to Dr. Brill and I said, can you tell me what cigarettes mean to women? And as quick as that, he said, cigarettes to women are torches of freedom that they use to dramatize their objection to the taboo against smoking by men. And then he added as an afterthought, and they titillate the erogenous zones of the lips. So I left and wondered what to do with that information. And I decided we would get debutantes to light torches of freedom in the Easter parade to protest man's inhumanity to women by the taboo against smoking. Within six weeks, smoking became an accepted pattern for women throughout the United States. An ancient prejudice has been removed. Today, legally, politically, and socially, womanhood stands in her true light. American intelligence has cast aside the ancient prejudice that held her to be inferior.